Hey everybody, it's Steve Lee here and I'm back again with some CSS tips. This time regarding one of the most asked questions from our Facebook group, uh, membership questions. What are media queries or breakpoints and how do, I, how do I do them or use them within Divi? So let's get started. Media queries put in the most simplest terms possible are just rules that activate a block of CSS only if a certain condition is true. So let me say that again. A media query just activates a block of CSS that you write only if certain conditions exist on that at, at that time. So one of the most common times that, um, that we see this or need this is with the responsiveness of your navigation menu. Now Divi has a lot of uh, you know responsiveness built in as far as the breakpoints between uh, a desktop and tablet and mobile, but there's a lot to be desired, um, you know, left over that we've got to adjust on our own. And one of the biggest places is here with the, the nav menu. So let's see what this looks like here. Um, th this navigation menu on the staging site that we're currently uh, working on has the navigation menu font at 26 pixels. And the problem, especially if we had more, um, you know, top level menu categories is when the screen size gets smaller, say to the size of a, a large laptop or a small laptop, the menu starts breaking and this this font size is staying the same. And you know, maybe that's the that's what you want it to look like, but maybe it's not. And I think in more cases than not, that's that's not what you want it to do. And the way that we adjust that is with media queries. And and you can do this all throughout your site for, for any elements. Um, you know, from from background colors to um, you know the the position or the size and color of fonts, you can write these conditions that say when when this condition is present. In our case, it's going to be screen size. You know, when the screen size is you know this many pixels wide, we want the font for this menu to to change to you know whatever to 18 pixels. So let's dive into that a little deeper and see what it looks like in real life the starting point for um, you know for writing media queries is first you've got to find out what to target in our case here we built this header um, using Divi's theme builder and so what we're targeting might be a little bit different than what you're targeting so it's important to make sure that you're targeting the right thing in our case um, I, I right clicked on the page and went to um, you know inspect element. I'm using Google Chrome. You could certainly do the same in uh, in Firefox. And we're going to make sure we're targeting the right thing here. So I, I see here it says font size 26, which seems to add up. And as I go here and I'm pressing the down arrow on my keyboard, it's changing that font size up and down on the screen. So it looks like we're targeting the right thing, which is awesome. The next thing I'm going to do is uh, is just double click this class here. And, and copy that over to, um, to my other screen here. Um, I use a program called Brackets to um, kind of help me write my CSS and keep it organized and uh, save snippets and things like that for, for sites I'm developing. So I'm doing that on, on another screen. So I've got my, um, my class here, which in this case is the um, ET PB menu zero, TB header, and uh, and and the menu. So I've got that saved to another screen. The next thing we need to do is start resizing the screen. When you've got inspect element open up here in the top right hand corner, you can see whenever you're dragging the screen, you can see the pixels changing. It's telling us the width of that screen, and we need to start noting um, when when the uh, the the menu breaks. So at this point. We're getting down here to 15. Boom, there it is. Let's see. Okay, 1484 looks to be about our point, 1485. All right, here we go. I had to change the font size back to 26. I had it on 25. So it's back at its default of how the page is created. And it looks like our first breakpoint of that menu is 
1532 pixels it goes down to um, you know being a two line menu and we don't want that we're going to try to keep everything on one row so i noted that over here on my other screen 1532 pixels and then what i'm going to do is here in inspect element we can we can kind of do this live and and streamline everything I'm going to drop this down, let's say, to 22 pixels. And then I'm going to keep resizing the screen. And I'm going to mark the next time that it breaks, which in our case, it looks like it's going to be right about there. Let's see, 1,346 pixels it breaks again. So I'm going to say from 1,347 pixels to 1532 we're going to drop the the font size down to 22 and i'm going to show you how to how to write that um, in your theme customizer and but it, you notice so we're at 22 pixels here and we're going to keep it that way down to 1347 and then under that it's going to break again so we're going to need to write another media query let's see where we're at here let's drop down to 20 pixels now and see how far that gets us and we're going to mark that number that gets us down to 1253 so again we're gonna um I'm, I'm marking these numbers down on you can do it on a sheet of paper you can do it on your notepad um, you know whatever suits you I'm just writing these numbers down what's gonna work for this website in particular and then we're gonna do it again I'm gonna drop this down to 18 and see what the the range is that 18 pixels gets us on the screen before we need to change something so that takes us down to 1161 or so and then at that point I don't think I want to take it down any further what I might do though is change uh, you can see here the um, the little arrow, the little carrot for um, any menu items that have um, children. We're going to go ahead and lower that down to, we'll say 15, just taking out some of that gap there. And I think that that's going to be enough to get us down to, oh, we might need to go one more down to 16 pixels. That should get us all the way down to um, to 980 or so. Maybe we'll make that 15. Let's see what that looks like. That still breaks. We'll we'll play around with it when we get to it. It looks like we go to tablet at 980. So we will we'll play around here with these um, with these figures to see what uh, what it's finally gonna look like. And. Let's see, 15 and 16. Just writing these numbers down on, a, on another sheet. Let's dive into our, um, our theme customizer and go to the additional CSX sec CSX, CSS section. That can be a mouthful. And uh, we'll blow this up here. Okay, so I've got some, uh, I've got some comment markup here. I'm going to start with writing our, our first media query. And you kind of only have to do this once. And in your case, um, just copy and paste what I've got down below in the, the YouTube uh, link description. And you can just copy this and paste it in. And like I said, you'll only have to change one thing, which is your um, what you're targeting. In our case, we use the theme builder. So uh, it might have a different um, class than what yours has. And, and I'll go over that one more time when we get to it. So to write a, a media query, we're going to do at media, because we're making a media rule. And then we've got to give it a minimum width and a maximum width that we're going to work within. So in our case, min width uh, for our first breakpoint going down the line is going to be, I've got 1,347 written down, 1,347 pixels, and a max width of 1,532 pixels. So after that, we're going to add some curly brackets. And then we need to add our class. So I'm going to go over to my other screen here and just copy the class that, uh, that I had copied. 
and you can see that that added another set of curly brackets and that's important that you don't miss that um, if you were just copying and pasting an entire media query from inspect elements sometimes it misses a curly bracket and that can tend to mess things up next we're adjusting our font size so i'm going to type in font dash size and change it to 22 pixels uh, don't forget your semicolon and then we need to close this thing out with a curly bracket so that should be our first um, our first media query and we're going to go ahead and save this we're going to publish it rather and go out to the site and see what that looks like and then we'll come back and add the others as we go and and make sure that this kind of looks uh, that we're on the right track here okay so i'm back in the um, in the site i'm gonna open up inspect element again just so you can see the pixel count at the top of the screen but ideally what we want it to do is at 1532 pixels we want this 20 size 26 font to change to size 22 font so let's get right on down there to 1532 there we go so you can see that just going back and forth from 1533 to 1532 we've got that that change which is working perfect okay so now we've got to do this again because as you can see here that menu still breaks and goes back to um, you know 26 pixels at that lower limit of 13 uh, 1347 right there so let's go back into our theme customizer and we're going to add we're going to copy our um, the the media query that we just wrote and write it again this time adjusting the pixel value and the font size so I just went ahead and copied that paste it and this time we're going to change it to 20 pixels and say that we want that between 1257 Uh, let's see 1257 and up to the um, the the lower limit of the last one we wrote so 1346 1346 all right so from 1257 to 1346 our font size is going to be oh, let me clean up this uh, these spaces here a little bit from 1257 to 1346 we want our font size to be 20 pixels and then from 1347 to 1532 it'll be 22 pixels and then anything over 1532 it'll be that default size of uh, 26 and now we're going to do this again we're going to copy this paste it and we're going to change these numbers again this time to be um, 1160 for our minimum width and then our maximum width it's going to be remember one number under your max width of the last query so 13 um, 45 or I'm, I'm sorry uh, one under the minimum width of your last one uh, in this case 1256 and we're going to do this again again just copying and pasting and then change your numbers uh, this time we're going to do 980 which is our breakpoint for when we switch to tablet view and our max width is going to be one under the minimum width of our last query we we, we wrote so 1159 and uh so we wanted this one to be 18 pixels we wanted this one to be 15 pixels and then we also wanted to take out some of the padding uh, between the, the little drop-down menu so I'm gonna do one more here just copying from my other screen because this has a different um, you know a different class here and we're gonna change that padding from 20 pixels down to 13 so this is uh, let's do a quick recap um, we'll focus on these here from 980 pixels up to 1159 we're gonna um, make this this 26 pixel font down to 15 pixels and then from 1160 to 1256 it's going to be 18 pixels from 1257 to 1346 it's going to be 20 pixels from 1347 to 1532 it's going to be 22 pixels and then anything over 
1532, it's going to be its default size of 26. So let's hit publish and go back out here to the to the real thing and see how we did. Okay, let's open up uh, an inspect element again just so you can see the pixel count up at the top right hand corner. Um, and you should see this thing resize here pretty smooth for us. 1532 I think was our first breakpoint. So let's get there. Boom. That looks good. And then it's changing again and again and again. And that takes us all the way down to um, to our tablet view, which is perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. Now we've still got th some things to clean up here as far as the positioning of some of our other menu items, but it, it's all just the same. This button has its own um, has its own class. You can use this this selector here to find what that class is for that button, and you're just going to copy that. Use the same um, kind of template that I'll have down in the in the, in the description, and um, and, and, and adjust those things. And remember, you can do this with anything. You can, you can do it with, um, you could change the font color, you could change background colors, you could change font families, you could, um, you can do anything. You're essentially saying with a media query that whenever, um, you know, this, this condition exists, do this. And, and that's it. That's media queries uh, as simple and straightforward as we can make them. Uh, guys, thank you very much for sticking with me on this video. I know we're uh, we're coming up on 17 minutes here, which is a little longer than I like to do for um, you know any kind of CSS videos. We try to make them little quick tips, but media queries are a little more in depth and require a little more time and attention. But the end result is awesome, and it makes for a great user experience. And, and hopefully it's it's really seamless. You won't have your clients calling you and saying, hey, I'm at home on my laptop or I'm on my iPad turned sideways and um, and the, the menu looks funny. You know, can you fix that? So uh, that's all I've got for today. Uh, hit us up in the comments if you've got anything that you'd like to see or any questions about um, media queries. We'll try to dive into um, into breakpoints on another video. Um, you know, adjusting when it turns into a tablet uh, or into a mobile view. You can change all of that kind of stuff, and it's it's very similar to what we just did. So thank you all very much for watching, and uh, if you haven't already, head out to our Facebook group, uh, Divi CSS Share, and and join up there. We've got a Trello repository of some uh, you know CSS snippets that uh, that a lot of people have shared from across the world and it's uh it's just a good group to ask questions and troubleshoot any kind of problems you're having that's all i've got thanks guys see ya bye bye